Tevin Jamad Campbell was born November 12, 1976 in Waxahachie, Texas. He developed a passion for singing at only four years old. Tevin began singing first as a choir member and then as a soloist at Jacob's Chapel, a local church in his hometown. Apart from his favorite singer, Aretha Franklin, his greatest influence as a child was his mother, Rhonda Bird. Then a postal worker, she was known by the town as Little Aretha. Tevin stated to the Los Angeles Times it was his mother who pushed him and made him see trying to be a bigger solo singer was something he should do. Without her pushing him the way she did, he believes he would still be in the background, as to some extent, that's what happened to her. Tevin's mother also went on to become Tevin's co-manager for a portion of his career. At 11 years old, Tevin got his first break in 1988 when a friend of his mother's insisted that he sing over the phone for a popular jazz flutist at the time by the name of Bobby Humphrey. Bobby took an immediate interest in Tevin and submitted an audition tape on his behalf to Warner Brothers, which led to a meeting with the label's senior vice president, Benny Medina. Tevin caught his first big break when producer Quincy Jones started working on his 1990 platinum-selling, Grammy-winning album, Back on the Block, at which time he was in the process of assembling an all-black cast for. Tevin was signed to Quincy's label and was featured on two songs from the album, including Tomorrow, Better You, Better Me, which made it to number one on the Hot R&B Singles chart. The next year, Tevin flew to Paisley Studios, where he met the legendary artist Prince and starred in his movie, Graffiti Bridge. He also recorded a soundtrack to the movie called Round and Round, which peaked to number 12 on the Hot 100 Billboard charts in April of 1991. It also earned Tevin a Grammy nomination for Best Male R&B Vocalist. Shortly after completing Graffiti Bridge, Tevin made a guest appearance in 1991 on the hit TV series Fresh Prince of Bel-Air alongside actress Tatiana Ali. Happy birthday, Ashley. After working with Prince, Tevin was in high hopes that Prince would elect to participate in the production of his first album, but Benny Medina had other plans for Tevin. Benny wanted Tevin's first album to be a collaborate of multiple producers to ensure that Tevin's talents were maximized. They recruited various producers, including Al B. Shore, Kyle West, and Alan Bergman. Tevin assisted in co-writing many of the tracks on his album as well. In November 1991, Tevin released his debut self-titled album, Tevin. The album included his highest charting single to date, Tell Me What You Want Me To Do, and also included the singles Alone With You and Goodbye. Tevin reached number 38 on the Billboard 200 chart and number five on the top R&B hip hop albums chart. The album eventually was certified platinum for selling one million copies in the United States. The self-titled album also earned him a Grammy Award nomination for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance at the 35th Grammy Awards. During an interview with Vibe, Tevin expressed how the recording of his first album was not the best. Because of his age and the type of songs he was singing at the time, he wasn't quite able to connect with them. Also, Tevin was going through puberty during the time his debut album was recorded, and as a result, his voice was changing. One day it could be high, and the other day it would be gone. So because of this, they were forced to record some of the songs multiple times. Tevin's second album, I'm Ready, 
produced by Babyface, was released in October of 1993. It produced hits such as Can We Talk, I'm Ready, and Always In My Heart. The album was certified double platinum for selling over 2 million copies in the U.S. The album was nominated for three Grammys at the 36th Grammy Awards. While discussing the difference between creating his second album versus the first, Tevin stated, I'm ready says a lot about who I am as a person because of the things I've been through during the last four years. I hope people will see that I'm not the same young kid that I was on my first album. Despite Tevin's growing fame in the industry, he remained very humble. He once expressed interest in studying computer science at a university, and although he loves the music industry, he could do without the pressure of the business. During an interview, he stated, Sometimes I think what it might be like if I stayed in the background and was just singing in a choir somewhere. That crosses my mind on some of the bad days when I'm overworked, but it's just a fleeting thought. Singing is still the most important thing to me. I love singing. I wouldn't be putting myself through all this if I didn't. Tevin was in the prime of his career as the hits would continue to come. In 1994, he was featured on the soundtrack for Low Down Dirty Shame and also scored an R&B hit with the single You Will Know as part of the group Black Men United. The song was included on the soundtrack of the all-time classic movie Jason's Lyrics. He also made an appearance in 1995 alongside recording artist Brandy on the TV series New York Undercover. In 1996, Tevin released his third album, Back to the World, produced by Sean Combs. It reached number 46 on the Billboard 200 chart and number 11 on the Top R&B Hip Hop Album chart. Unfortunately, the album did not share the level of success as its previous two. The album's first single, Back to the World, was only a moderate hit receiving little to no radio play, and the other two singles released didn't even make it to the top 100. Tevin released his fourth self-titled album in February of 1999. Because the album was rushed, it charted below the R&B Top 30. It was during this time that Tevin's career started to decline. In July of 1999, Tevin was arrested in Van Nuys, California during a sting operation for soliciting sexual favors from an undercover police officer. The sting was conducted near an elementary school where there had been numerous complaints about lewd solicitations. Tevin was also in possession of marijuana during his arrest. At the time, he was 22 years old. He was ordered by a judge to attend Narcotics Anonymous meetings and also take an AIDS awareness course. In 2003, Tevin spoke openly on his sexuality in an interview with Sister to Sister, during which time he revealed he considered himself to be trisexual. He stated, I'm not gay but there's a lot of different things that I do like sexually. Being in the business, you're introduced to a lot of different things. I'm not gay, but I'm a freak, and I think a lot of people know what a freak is. Rumors once circulated that Quincy Jones molested Tevin Campbell as a child during their business partnership, but both Tevin and Quincy deny any truth to the rumor. Because homosexuality was not a widely discussed topic, nor widely accepted during this time frame, Tevin received a lot of backlash and criticism from the public shortly after this interview. For the next five years, Tevin stayed out of the public eye.
In 2005, Tevin made an attempt to revamp his career by trying his hand at Broadway. He joined the cast for the musical Hairspray and performed the role of Seaweed J. Stubbs. He would continue to work as a part of the musical production up until 2011. In 2008, Tevin released an online album called Never Before Heard, but decided after only six months of release to pull the album offline and shelve it for reasons unknown. Over the next 10 years, Tevin continued making music in small time appearances occasionally, such as at the 2014 Essence Music Festival and the Soul Train Music Awards in 2015. In some of his most recent work, Tevin made a guest appearance in 2019 on the hit TV series, Queen Sugar. As many other artists before and after him, Tevin has had his share of ups and downs in the Hollywood industry. However, his musical talent is undeniable, and as such, he and his music will remain relevant for decades and generations to come.